So you just unboxed a brand new MacBook Air. Congrats. But before you dive in, there are 11 essential settings and features you should change right away to get the best experience. Whether it's using hidden shortcuts, Apple intelligence, seamless iPhone and iPad integration, these tweaks will make your MacBook feel faster, smarter, and more efficient. Now, I'm using a MacBook Air M4 for demo purposes, but these features will work on any MacBook running an M1 or newer chip. So let's get started. If you want to navigate Mac OS faster, knowing a few essential shortcuts will save you a ton of time. Command plus tab quickly switches between open apps. Control plus up arrow views all open windows in Mission Control. Control plus down arrow views all open windows for the current app. Command space instantly opens Spotlight Search to launch apps, find files, or even do quick math. Command plus H hides the active window instantly, great for when you need a quick clean screen. And if you like to work in split screen mode, just hover over the green maximize button on any window, then select tile window to left or right of the screen. Then you can pick another app to fill the other half. You can also use thirds or quadrants if you need more multitasking. Screenshots and screen recordings are so much easier to take when you use these shortcuts. Command plus shift plus three takes a full screenshot automatically. Command shift four allows you to select a specific area to capture. Command shift five opens the full screenshot and screen recording menu. Under options here, you can even set a timer or change where the files are saved before capturing. Apple Intelligence is here and brings some seriously useful AI powered tools to your MacBook. But before you can use them, you need to turn them on. Go figure. Go to System Settings, Siri, make sure Apple Intelligence is enabled. Once that's done, you can start using features like Smart Summaries, which can quickly summarize emails, web pages, or long notes. Rewrite and proofread. Select any text and ask Apple Intelligence to rewrite it for better clarity or a different tone. Image Playground. Create quick AI-generated images, not for serious work, but for something fun and fast, it does the job. So now you should be able to start using some cool features like Apple Intelligence on your MacBook, which brings me to an important question. What's been your favorite new feature in Mac OS? Drop a comment below. And if you're enjoying these tips so far, make sure to subscribe for more MacBook and Apple content. Next up are widgets. And no, they're not just for your iPhone anymore. They live on your Mac desktop. To add them, right click anywhere on your desktop and select Edit Widgets. Drag in whatever you need giving you info at a glance without opening apps. For mine, I've got the important things, weather, calendar, and battery status just for my desktop. If you constantly visit sites like Gmail, YouTube, or Tom's Guy, just saying, you can actually turn those web pages into an app that sits on your dock. To do this in Safari, open the site that you want. Click File, Add to Dock. Now it runs like a standalone app. And if you're someone like me with a million tabs open all the time, this can help keep things a little bit cleaner. Speaking of Safari, it's fast, optimized, and great for battery life. But if you prefer something else like Chrome or Firefox, here's how you can change your default browser. Go to System Settings, Desktop and Dock. Scroll down to Default Web Browser and choose your preferred one. Now any link that you open will default open in your preferred browser instead of Safari. Need a faster way to insert emojis? Instead of clicking through menus, just use these shortcuts. If you're using your MacBook's default keyboard, just tap on the function globe key and the emoji picker pops open. You can even search from here for your favorite emoji. For all keyboards without this shortcut, click on Control plus Command plus Space and you'll get that same window to pop up. For keeping your password safe, you no longer need a separate password manager as macOS has a really powerful built-in option that syncs across all your Apple devices. To access it, bring up Spotlight Search by hitting Command plus Space and type Passwords, or you can find it in your launchpad. Opening this will be secured with your login password. 
From here, you can store and autofill passwords across apps and websites. You can search and organize all your logins easily. You can also set up verification codes for two-factor authentication. This works just as well as 1Password or LastPass, but without the extra cost or download. You'll also be notified if any of your logins have been compromised. Now, maybe one of my favorite features is iPhone mirroring, which can fully control your phone from your Mac. Once that's enabled, you can check on and access your iPhone even if it's in the room next door. This allows you to see notifications, reply to text, and even drag and drop files between the devices. And if you use two-factor authentication a lot like I do, it saves you a lot of time. And if you want to learn more about iPhone mirroring and its other cool features, you can check out my full video linked above. Speaking of using other Apple devices, if you have an iPad, you can turn it into a second screen for your MacBook using Sidecar. Click Add Display and select your iPad. You can now multitask a lot easier, and it's my favorite tip when traveling. And finally, if your MacBook starts acting up or you're ready to sell it, here's how you can properly factory reset your device. Go to Transfer or Reset. Click Erase All Content and Settings. Follow the on-screen prompts. This will wipe everything and restore your Mac to factory settings. Just make sure to sign out of iCloud first to remove your activation lock if you're no longer going to be the owner or you're passing this on to a new user. So these 11 settings and tweaks will help you get the best experience out of your new Mac. If you found this helpful, drop a comment and let me know which you'll use most or if there's anything I should try out next time. And if you want more Apple content, stay subscribed. You can find us everywhere at Tom's Guide and you can follow me to see what other cool tech I'm reviewing. Until the next one, I'll catch you later.